Hey, what's up guys? So if you're looking to use socket.io over an HTTPS connection, this video will show you how. So to get started, we're going to install a package named file system. So we're going to do that by typing npm install. I'm going to pass in that save option so that it can save to the package.json file and then name it file system. Okay. Okay, once that has been installed, we're going to require it in our server.js file. So I'm going to give it a variable name of fs. Put require fs. All right, put the semicolon. And then we're going to create an HTTP server. The method is relatively similar to the way we created the HTTP server. Um, the only difference is, is that we're passing an object with um, a key and a certificate. So in order to use it, we have to create a key. So we're going to create a new file and we're just going to name it my key dot key. So we're going to use this file and include that by uh, putting the path. To, to the file. Now when you guys create your key, you want to create it in a directory that is not accessible by the public. So you want to make sure that it's in a private folder where the public cannot access it. Also, um, to get the key, to get your, the key to, for your certificate, you can contact the company where you purchased your certificate from and they can provide you that file where you can just copy the key and paste it to the new file you created on your server. So I don't have that now, but this is where you guys would this is what you guys would do to paste that code uh, right on this file. And then um, I'm gonna add the path. So put my key dot key. And then the second file is a certificate, this actual sign certificate. So you're gonna create a new file so that we can uh, include the path for the sign certificate. And uh, I'm going to call it my cert.srt. And, and again, you would contact your web hosting company or the company where you purchased your certificate and copy and paste your signed certificate to this file. Then uh, going back to your server.js, you specify that path. So I'll put my cert.srt. Okay, and uh, another difference is that we're beginning, we're going to be using a different port, uh, a different port. So we cannot use an HTTPS. We cannot create an HTTPS server and an HTTP server on the same port. It has to be different. So if you guys are looking to use Socket IO dynamically, let's say you have some files that are on an unsecured connection and some files that are on a secured connection. What you guys can do is you can create a simple function, I actually wrote it over here, to test to see if the connection is secured or not. So if it's secured, we're going to be emitting um, the data uh, to the port number 3000, which is that secured server we created on the server.js file. If it's not secure, we're going to uh, emit the, uh, the data to the port 3001, which is that unsecured connection, that HTTP connection. That we created over here I see so they're two different port numbers um, and then it's gonna go ahead and listen to both port numbers okay and then we simply just copy that HTTPS server and invoke that emit order so I already um, passed in the HTTPS server to this function so we're just gonna pass in an HTTP server as well. Now, if you guys are going to be only using HTTPS for socket.io, obviously you don't have to include both. So you can just have that HTTPS server passed in to this function and that's going to work. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it helped you guys out. If you have any questions or comments, I'll be more than happy to answer them. And thank you for watching this video.